No matter how careful you are when creating quilt blocks, it rarely comes out perfect. This tutorial will show you how to square quilt blocks whether they're too small or too big. Why do you need to square a quilt block? Maybe your cutting wasn't perfect or your seam allowance wasn't exact. These inconsistencies can compound, making the overall block less precise. If you do embroidery on a quilt block, stitching could stretch the original block in weird ways. Squaring should be done for all your blocks before sewing them together to create the quilt top. Before you square it, press the block as well as you can. Consider using a little spray starch on the block. You want to get it as flat as possible. It's helpful to have a square quilter's ruler. It should be the exact size or larger than the block you're squaring. Use painter's tape to mark on the wrong side of the ruler with your final block size. In this demonstration, I want my blocks to be five inches, so I'll put tape on the five inch lines. Don't forget to take the block seam allowance into consideration, so my five inches is including a quarter inch seam allowance. I'll also put a tiny piece of tape to mark the center of my five inch block on my ruler. Lay your quilt square under your ruler so it's mostly inside the marked area. Determine if the block is too big or too small. Even if it's only by a little, it'll probably fall into one of these two categories. Here's what to do if it's too big. Place your block within the taped area, matching the taped center with the center of the block. I have two seams that intersect here, so I'm using this as my guideline. But if you don't have that, just use your best judgment. If there are other seams, match them with lines on the ruler to make the block as level as possible. Or you can also use the diagonal line on the ruler, making sure it's going from one corner to the other. If the quilt square is too big, you should have some fabric going past the outside of the ruler and past the tape. Again, it might be a minuscule amount, but it should still be something. Use the rotary cutter to cut on the two edges of the ruler. Lift the ruler, rotate the block twice, and replace the ruler. This time, your fabric edges should line up exactly with the taped edges. There should be some fabric still going past the ruler edges. Cut the remaining two edges with your rotary cutter. Now you should have a perfectly squared block. What happens if your block falls a little short of being the correct size? For this, you'll need some freezer paper. Cut a square of freezer paper the exact size you want your block. Freezer paper has a waxy side and a paper side. On the paper side, draw guidelines for yourself, like lines marking the center or diagonal lines. Place the wax side of the freezer paper to the wrong side of your block using your drawn lines to match up your block as well as you can. With a warm iron, press the freezer paper. The wax side should adhere to the block. On the right side of your block, you'll see the paper peeking at the edges. The paper shouldn't be showing more than your quarter inch seam allowance, otherwise you may end up with a hole in your seam. When pinning blocks together, use your paper edge for matching raw edges and sew as normal. When you finish sewing all your blocks together, you can tear and peel the freezer paper off. If you square your blocks correctly, you'll notice it'll be easier to match things up, plus your overall quilt top should be more squared. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out professorpincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.